Good morning everyone, this is Jose Trujillo once again coming to you from a corner of my art studio to do another uh, uh, the world's greatest living artist not to forget, let me make this sorry about that you guys, but gotta do what I gotta do alright I'm gonna do one of those uh, I guess you would say uh, very uh, classic uh, people with umbrella you know, figure with umbrella walking and I hope you like it. So I got this trusted uh, little uh, charcoal thing in my box, <laughs> and a little horizon. Now again, guys, like I like I said before, this this is the way I do things. For those of you who don't uh, who don't know me, I'm not your uh, typical. Uh, art instructor, okay? This is just kind of how I, this is how I, uh, this is how I wing it. <laughs> this is, this is my, uh, this is my je ne sais quoi, okay? In no way am I saying, if you don't do it like this, you know, this is not art or whatever, this is me, okay? Let's put another, for perspective, I'm going to put another figure back here. They're kind of like, hey, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, I'm just kicking it here. You know, on my way to work. Oh, man, I forgot an umbrella. You should have gotten one. You know, a little commentary right there. Something like that. Okay. There we go. Keep it cool. Keep it somewhat abstract. Keep it awesome. All right. Oh, before I forget, I need to get a little bit of there we go. and let's go. Well, I haven't done a video in a little in a little while now, and uh, I've been I've been very very busy uh, with uh, commissions and stuff like that. So, but I needed to you know I need to make my videos. So I'm like man. Gotta show up, make them videos. You know, make it make it happen. What are you doing, dude? Sometimes I paint like this. If you noticed, this is very. Uh, uh, I I I do what I want. <laughs> no, this is very very much a very an impressionist uh, stroke. I guess you would call it. Um, and I'm not saying it's an impressionist brush stroke because I, uh, I, I imagine it's an impressionist brush stroke or because I saw it in a, <laughs> I don't know, some, some documentary or something, I don't know. Uh, I, I base it out of just, just kind of what I believe, you know, because I've seen some, uh, I've seen my share of, of uh, paintings, uh, impressionist paintings that I, I, I love their brush stroke. And I've come to the conclusion. So I guess that, I guess that's that's what I imagine. Anyways, at least some of them I know. I've come to the conclusion that Monet painted some somehow like that. So so uh, for some paintings, I don't know. Everybody does different stuff. But uh, I've also mentioned that I paint like this when my hand is tired. <laughs> So that could be another explanation, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of a sniffle because, man, this weather, you know, it's way, way fun. <laughs> way fun. But nevertheless, let's show up. Let's do the thing. I hope everyone um, is having fun painting. I really do. If you're not having fun, here I go, here I go again. Uh, if you're not having fun, you really have to uh, audit yourself. You know, you really have to check in there. If you're not having fun, uh, something's going on, you guys. Something's going on. If you're not having fun, you are, you're frustrated. It really is. You know, sometimes I see the, 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 some people uh, talking negatively or whatever, you know. Um, not here. We only got, we only got a 
happy people here. But sometimes I see people, you know, like being upset or whatever. For whatever reason, I don't know. I guess the human the human condition is like that. No, we look for we look for just about anything to be like, let me complain about that. <laughs> and now everybody knows I'm not making this up. <laughs> but uh I I come to my own uh, realizations in my life. Believe it or not, I've been in a quest to to come into my own, uh, um, you know, just things that I've that I've that I've uh, that I found out that don't work. You know, just little things like, dude, you complain too much. You know, and you don't think you do. Yeah. I, I'm talking about myself. I, I I think I complain a lot. I thought that I was, you know, pretty chill. But, man, if there was a, if at the end of the day there was a recording playing back, not just what you said, but what you were thinking, you know, that's why I said you gotta audit yourself. If at the end of the day there was a recording playing back all the crap that you were thinking, you know, all the negative stuff, all the, you would amaze yourself. All the, all the stuff that, that prevents you from moving forward, you know, all the stuff that, that, um, that pretty much, uh, I don't know, that, that it doesn't help you, you know, venting, you know, complaining, oh man, the weather, oh man, this, I understand, you know, some stuff is, is, is worth your attention, but I believe that sometimes... Uh, we don't just give it attention, we give it, we give it all of ourselves, you know, we don't just look at it and go like, oh yeah, well that's, that's, you know, that's pretty bad, I don't like, you know, that, or whatever, whatever's happening, we, we tend to give it all, and I think, uh, it, it's, uh, you know, it's just not, it's not the way to live, by the way, speaking of the way to live, my wife just introduced me to this book um, called uh, The Alchemist. Never, never, never read it before. I don't really have much. Uh, I, I love reading, but I don't really have much uh, time to read. So I, I do a lot of those uh, audios, CDs and audibles, especially audible. I love that. The audible. <laughs> Again, uh, what's his name? Jeff Bezos. If you're listening, hook me up. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, she introduced me to, to, to The Alchemist. Man, what a book. I think that there's so much, um, so many, you know, so many things one can learn. You, you think you, you're going through your, through your journey, you know, in life. And, and there's so much that that you don't realize, you know. You're, you're, I love for those of you who've read it. I don't want to spoil it. The ones that have it, but you know the whole the whole uh, going on the journey after your treasure, man. That just you know that spoke loud to me. Something else. Something else. Because it's inevitable. No, the human being wants to uh, wants to. Wants to find that, you know, it's, it's inevitable. A human being longs for for something deep, deeper in life you know? and a deeper uh, meaning. Not in a self-serving way. I don't think most of us, so, although some people, I believe that, uh, you know, they they, they kind of go after that. Sadly, they go after the whole. Uh, I want to know more than you, kind of thing, you know, that kind of stuff. But even that, I mean, that's part of the journey too, you know, like first, some of us are like, I want to know more than my neighbor, <laughs> or I want to be more. And, and in that, we find out that, that you don't, it's okay to be more, but you don't have to be more than, you know, it's okay to, be, to, to increase your, your, uh, your your goals, your life, whatever it is that you you know that you're trying to um, accomplish, manifest, however you want to call it, you know, experience. You don't have to be more than you know. 
you want to be less that you can just you know full on experience your life and then see where that where that takes you. It could be uh, it could be a, a, some great huge experiences or it could be something subtle, you know, whatever it is that your your little heart desires. Just uh, just don't kid yourself. Don't ask for less if you want more. <laughs> That's my uh, that's my only advice. <laughs> Don't play the humble card now when you ask, <laughs> or when you set your intentions, or when you set your goals, or when you ask God, or whatever, um, however you define that. Make sure to make sure to ask for plenty if you want more. Don't be <laughs> don't be like most that we're like. Uh, I'll be happy with just, you know, and then at the end, at the, at the middle of the road, you realize that, that you needed more. <laughs> You're like, oh man. Check it out, you guys. See, these little figures are like, hey, what's up? I'm right here. See, very, very, very simple. It, it's not, you know, it's not worth thinking so much. It's not worth thinking at all. But if there is some thinking, make sure it's some awesome positive thinking. Make sure it's like, it's like, I got this. Yeah, that's another thing that, that I've been discovering about myself. I, I told myself, self, if you're going to be thinking about something, okay, if you, if you, if you can't, you know, because m many of us can't really control the whole, the whole uh, Zen stuff, you know, we're not, we're, we're not, we're not super Zen on life, right? We're not, we're not a horse spiritual or whatever you want to call it. Most of us are, are like, you know, just getting by, hanging in there, you know, trying to figure things out, just being human. But, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, I think that, you know, what, I've, what I come out of in my life, if, uh, right, I can only speak from my perspective. I tell myself, you know, self, if you're going to be thinking, oh, I, didn't, I didn't tell myself that, I'm just joking, but, but yeah, I mean, I came to that, you know, realization. If, if I'm going to think about something, I'm going to, I'm really going to make the intention to, to, uh, to make sure that 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 it's not that it's conductive to something better, you know, that it's that it's that it's not. Um, he, here's where I've gotten wrong before, but I'm like, oh, I'm gonna think about something, you know, positive and, and the best thing, and, and that's really the key, the the best possible, you know, scenario or whatever, and. Sometimes, sometimes we don't have it figured out. We don't have figured out the best possible scenario for our lives, you know. And it's okay to not have it figured out. You know, it's all right. It's not. It's not. Oh, I want this and I want that, and you know, I, I want to accomplish this. And by I remember I used to break my head when I was younger. By the age thirty, I want to have this and that, and I want to, you know. And it, it's cool. I mean, it's not. I don't think that there's anything wrong with with that. But if there isn't that element. It's not that bad either, you know. As long as I believe, as long as you have, because many people talk about a clear intention, and I think that that most of us get, you know, get kind of, you know, at least at least I did, and and a couple of other people <laughs> that I know. Of, uh, I I think that we get caught up in 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 well, what is the the right, you know. What is the right uh, mindset? What is that, you know, not even the mindset. What is, what is it that I want exactly? Because here I am, I'm hearing everyone saying, you know, when you, when you set your goals, make sure that, that they're, uh, that they're uh, you know, very clear, you know, to what you want and blah, blah, blah. But uh, many times uh, we don't know, we don't have it clear. And it doesn't mean that we don't have to have a positive, you know, very positive and even, even uh, 
abundant intention for ourselves. So that's what I think of this. I don't know how I went from painting a person with umbrella to setting up better intentions <laughs> towards our goals. Um, but yeah, something like that, you guys. Come on, you guys. You guys get a, a, a painting demo and a commentary here. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, so this shadowy figure, silhouette type of figures. Uh, if you noticed, if you've tried to do this before, if you're if you're an artist that's starting out, okay, I'm not talking I'm not talking to to the artists who've been painting their whole life because you guys are gonna probably tell me you're doing it wrong, man, or I don't know, maybe you guys are cool, but I'm talking to the artists who're starting out. And who are watching this and are like, oh, I, I'd love to paint a figure like that. Well, look, one of the winning uh, things about painting a figure like this is that you want to make sure, okay, here's a little nugget for you guys. You want to make sure that the head is smaller. This is where most people get it wrong when they're painting figures. They make the head too big. And big heads are for little kids. <laughs> In paintings, big heads are for, for infants. The infants, you know, infants have this ginormous head. <laughs> Especially toddlers and yeah, big toddlers. Uh, but um, but older people, adults, have uh, their bodies. Our bodies are are uh, especially in a painting. It, it will it will it will it will feel better. You know, you'll have that illusion of a person if the head is smaller, okay? So, I'll leave you with that one. You're going to be like, oh man, that's awesome. Thank you, Jose. Well, you know, I'm cool like that. Because you guys are kind enough to, to check this out. So, I'm going to be posting some. I'm going to be telling you guys some of my little nuggets. Little nuggets here and there. Now, I don't have many, uh, many nuggets. I got some cool stuff to show you. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I, I love, because I like, I like different styles of painting, I don't get caught up in just one. I love creating volume with color, and this I learned it from painting uh, in the colorist tradition. And one of my favorite old colorist painters, who's not really considered a colorist, but he is a colorist. Uh, most people that, that uh, are like... There's debates with the art snobs. <laughs> is Eugène de la Croix, okay? He's a French romantic painter. He, that guy understood color. Okay, if you have a chance, if you haven't checked out his work, if there is a museum somewhere where you can see his work, especially his drawings, he was a master, master draftsman. Uh, check out the, the equestrian, the horses, those studies, the equestrian studies, man. And the, all kinds of awesome stuff. Check out how he used red. Okay, red and green. I know uh, um, he would kiss the paintings with red. I, see, this is one of the things that I believe about painting. When people tell me, oh man, I love, you know, I love the painting you're doing, or this or that. Uh, many times, what the person on the other side, of course, watching it, uh, many times, not many times, for the most part, doesn't understand that, that an artist or the product of a work is the product of many studies. Now, you, 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 uh, you've, uh, as an artist, You've studied different artists, and you're kind of, you know, being influenced by all these artists as you as you travel to your own to your own genesis quoi. So there you guys go. Check it out, man. I'm good. <laughs> Jose Trujillo, I am the world's greatest living artist. 
I will take uh, Tizian and uh, and De La Cruz and Velasquez and Francisco. Oh yeah, I will take you guys' place. But as long, I mean, <laughs> for the living ones, man, it's me. I'm sorry, you guys, that there is like background, but it, it, it looks even more abstract. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. And till next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.